In today's episode of the Ben Greenfield Fitness Podcast, natural remedies for snoring, weight training for endurance athletes, can D-ribose reverse heart disease, how to lose weight with a low thyroid, train for a marathon without losing muscle, and sports nutrition for females. Welcome to the BenGreenfieldFitness.com podcast. We provide you with free exercise, nutrition, weight loss, triathlon, and wellness advice from the top fitness experts in the nation. So whether you're an Ironman triathlete or you're just trying to shed a few pounds, get ready for non-run-of-the-mill, cutting-edge content from BenGreenfieldFitness.com. So are you nice and cozy and warm over there in your part of the world? It is so freaking cold here <laughs> in Spokane. It's like it's heard. like twenty below zero. Jeez, I I burnt my feet. Like cold burnt my feet. I, what were you doing? I went out in my garage yesterday morning, and as I usually do on Tuesday mornings, I hung from my inversion table. Oh, and, no. And, well, you're hanging, and, and all the blood drains from your feet. Yeah. And so this this is my weird setup. I think I've mentioned this before on the podcast because I get weird looks from my neighbors. I open up the garage door so the sunshine is like blasting through the garage door. And nice. then I hang on my inversion table and like stare at the sun. And, you know, I'm in my boxers. So my body is getting bathed in, in sunlight and vitamin D. And I'm nice. hanging there and, and getting the increased, you know, capillarization and blood flow to my head and draining my legs. And it just so happened yesterday morning when I was doing this at about 7 a.m., it was uh, almost negative 20. And so I, I have cold mm. burns on my feet now. <laughs> so, Well, that's what happens when you do crazy stuff. You run the risk of, well, first looking like a madman and second doing something like that, I guess, burning your yeah. feet. So I'll, Cold uh, burning. I need to find myself some bunny slippers to podcast in this morning. Cute. News flashes. As always, this is the part of the show where Ben highlights some of the latest, newest, coolest uh, news flashes that he's come across in the studies. Yeah, all across right. the interwebs. We, we got to get you a thesaurus. You can stop talking like a valley girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, awesome. They're awesome. Like, cool. They're so cool uh, and <laughs> really uh, gnarly. Uh, foam rolling. So uh, foam rolling rolling is near and dear to many of our listeners hearts. I know. And and I certainly have a a love hate relationship with my rumble roller foam roller. There was a study that came out in the journal of strength and conditioning research uh, last month though, that looked at whether or not foam rolling actually helps performance. And what I tweeted over at twitter.com slash Ben Greenfield was soreness. Yes, but performance. No, because yeah, I remember that one that got a lot of uh, a lot of people's ire for some reason. People are writing back going, "It helps my performance," and mm. getting like really getting their backs yeah. up about it. I'm not sure why. A lot of people really love love their foam roller. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They came 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 to their foam's defense. Yeah. Anyways, what they what they did in this study was they took some people and they just had them do planking exercises, which I thought was kind of cool because you're kind of in a planking type of position when you're foam rolling. Yeah, and then yeah, I guess so. the group that compared them to just did foam rolling exercises. And what they found was when they tested for performance variables like vertical jump height and power, force production, agility, there was absolutely no difference between the folks who did foam rolling versus the folks who just did planking. Hmm. But what they did find, and, and this will hopefully – allay the anger of all of our foam rolling listeners is that they did find folks who did the foam rolling had reduced feelings of fatigue, even though they didn't perform any better, and they had significantly less soreness and less uh, perceived rating of exertion. So even though you don't perform any better, you can at least feel like you're working a little less hard and have a little less soreness. So... 
you know, that. I gotta say that that does come down to semantics at a certain point. Like that's really how you define performance. Mm. Yeah, in, in a way, but ultimately, what performance really comes down to, you know, if you're talking about getting the the bronze, the silver, or the gold, is how fast yeah. you go, or, or how you know how much force you produce, that type of thing. Now, of course, I I foam, I do a full body foam rolling session every Tuesday and every Friday for about ten to twenty minutes. You know, I put on my my MP3 player and and get down and dirty with my foam roller. So I have nothing against foam rolling. I just don't pretend that it's going to make me any any faster as much as it's going to prevent injury, decrease soreness and potentially make me feel a little happier during a workout. I've been using it for pre-workout, just getting myself ready. It's actually part of the the Dan John um, Mass Made Simple program. Yeah. So-